Hey there gamer guys and gals, I'm Richie and welcome to IG Critic. This episode of PS Plus Catch Up was specifically requested by Nishit Shetty. Hey there dude, thank you for all your comments and I hope you enjoy this video. Ooh, cassette tape. I love it. Very retro. Apparently this game is set in 1995. It's not one I've yet played, so I've heard a lot of good things. And I'm really excited. 1995. I was there once. Good year. Very good year. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Gone home. Set in Oregon, Portland, apparently. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 in the morning! Gosh, she's gonna be jet-lagged beyond belief! So here we are on the front porch of our home. This is me, Caitlin Greenbrier. What a name, Greenbrier! I love it! That is one snazzy pack, I've gotta be honest. Hello! You forgot to you forgot to leave the door open. Katie, I'm sorry I can't but this is a mum voice. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it's impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. Slash mum and dad. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. Okay. So who is Sam? Now why is everything so dark? Grab the cup. Ha ha ha! I have the cup! The blue cup is mine! Ha ha ha! Is, is that the end of the game? Put the cup. Put the cup back. We don't need it! Oh, it's good to know we can open doors. <gasps> Christmas duck! I want the Christmas duck. Yay! Oh, oh, oh! A key. I can examine the duck. $5.99 for a Christmas duck. I'd say they got a bargain. Uh, oh no. Oh, oh, I could throw stuff. Right. Aha. Oh, 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 oh. I don't remember there being automatic lighting back in 1995. Especially in, well, at least my home didn't have automatic lighting. It looks like we've just kind of moved in. There's still boxes everywhere. Ooh, files. Invoice. Blah, 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 blah. $2,750. And that's just for boxes. Phew. Dear Katie. Oh. So much has changed. Hello? Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. So Sam's a girl. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. There are voices but in I'm my head. But I'm not gonna let it face me. I used to tell you everything. And if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where. Ha, <laughs> gallivanting. I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. How did I get all of that from a shipping report? These invoices, eh? And what do you do when you go inside someone else's house for the first time? You check all the cupboards! Towels, very handy. Magazine. Author magazine! What a typewriter! Grab the toilet paper. Ha <laughs> The toilet paper is mine! Soft plus! If you're gonna go for anything, Softer, better. Oh, 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 it's got a scary baby on the front. No, I decided I do not like this toilet paper. He wants toilet paper with a scary baby on the front. It's 
It's what the 90s was all about. Scary baby faces. They used to put them on everything. Read note. Directions to work from new home. Travel time an hour and ten minutes! Question exclamation point. Yeah, that is quite a commute. Nothing in there. Is there any more lights? I am not liking that storm. I will grab the skull. Oh, oh. Hecho in Mexico. Ah, made in Mexico. Lovely. I love it. Pick up one of my trophies. Regional track. Ah, so she does a lot of running. Caitlin Greenbrier. That's me. Oops. Whatever works. Pick up my old track trophy. So that's one of my... That's an old one. It's a new one. So, I'm getting the impression. Caitlin is... She's an achiever. She's an achiever. She likes to run. She's been away by herself for a year. She's done a lot, our Caitlin. Her next accomplishment, ransack this house. Okay, I understand that is really good handwriting, but I'm still having trouble reading it. Dear Jan or Ian? All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little down doom room we should shared freshman year. Okay, this is going to take me a while. When we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes, I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them. What was that? What was that? Okay, this was not supposed to be a horror game, but now I am creeped out. Why are all these doors locked? Ooh! Caitlin! Oof, now that is 90s. Aha! So I was in Amsterdam. Worldwide timetable. <whistles> yep, so it has, it's literally been a year. It's been a year to the day. Plus an hour. Sam, Daniel from the old neighbourhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hang out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. He had a Nintendo? This Daniel guy sounds awesome. Sam. Sam. Hello? Hello? I'm here. Hello? What's Sam. that mean? Oh, I'm calling Sam. Aha! Sam, where are you? Oh my god! Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. This is some creepy stuff. Ah, oh, now that's a happy family. Sam, Kate, Mom and Dad, slash Jan and Terry. See, those tashes were all the rage. Do you think I could have a tash like that? That is a pretty killer tash. I'll tell you, I know they may not be fashionable these days, but that thing takes a lot of grooming. Aha! I have a map. Hello? Okay, the lightning is not helping. This is supposed to be a nice, nostalgic game. 
Evans to Betsy. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. Nice. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just really? stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Maybe you are because a mutant. That'd now be maybe cool. nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Seriously? We're in a Psycho House? I'm feeling less and less confident about this game as we go on. Okay. Nice military outfit. Oscar Doc Mason died peacefully last month. Was born blah 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 blah. Obtained his degree in pharmacy. Da 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 da. Service will be held. Blah 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 blah. Ooh, cards! Cards! A catchy. Paris, let's not go there. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I've done many Parisian things, including eating le petit déjeuner and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of films to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite and only sister. Love you all, Katie. Bit much? Bit much. I never said I could do an American accent. Oh, I, I sh Will you stop that? A rat with the lightning. Hello. They forgot to turn off the TV. Nice living room though. Fireplace. Original features. <gasps> Feast! Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting the following counties. I kind of gathered the severe weather warning. Thank you. It's good thing I got home safely. <gasps> pizza! No, what? No pizza? They ate all the pizza. They knew I was coming home tonight. And they left me an empty locked house and no pizza! This family does not love this girl. <gasps> X-Files Season 1! Yeah, X-Files was a big thing. And still should be. What's that say? It's upside down. The Dark... Crustal. Oh, The Dark Crystal! Jim Henson film! Legend, legend. Look at that TV. No flat screen in those days. If you said to someone you had a big TV, it usually meant that it filled up half the room. Sam, thought this might help. Dad, making friends. It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. Mate, look at those trends. You know that feeling where at the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook. These guys love so the intense. X-Files. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after Street school. Street Fighter, yes! Can we do that in this game? Is there, is there like a Nintendo hidden in the house where I can play Street Fighter? Haha! Role model. I am digging this vibe! If I can't have the pizza, I can have rock and roll.
What's this? It's a closet. I believe they call it in America. Read the story. The Heaven at the Edge of the World. Samantha Greenbrier, Grade 2. Story. The Turtle People, Part 1. Oh look, she got an A+. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the Black Pirate Ship! Are you liking this story? I'm liking this story. Now I'm in the closet. Now I'm in the closet too. I was just sat here in the closet, reading a book about a turtle. I started to get angry. Maybe you need to be a South Park fan for that one. What is this? Hauntings and Poltergeists. Okay, now there's actually a book on hauntings and poltergeists. I am not liking this house. As big and beautiful as it is. Way the X-Files. They really love it. What else is on? Oh, Robocop at 10.30. Uh, Red Dwarf! Mate, they had Red Dwarf in America. Red Dwarf, love it. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain. I want to change the channel. The following counties. Austin County. You see, these are the cables they had before Austin HDMI. County. How are you supposed to read that? How are you, the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the... Ah! That is loud in my headset. I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either. And thought I'd ask you something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes, no. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho or does it run in the family? Tommy's a dick. Turn lamp off. You mean that lamp is on? That is giving us no light. Ah, there we go. Okay, what exactly is this room? <gasps> Highlighters. I want to highlight something. Can I highlight something? What if JFK wasn't JFK? You can do better. Now that's a motivational poster right there. Self-made motivational poster with sticky notes. Aha, a form. An informative form. Wiring in-house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. Technically. Aha, there's a secret. It's a combination lock, which I don't know. Oh, maybe it's 1963, as it's written there. Okay. 1963. Hey! <laughs> Let me in! John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station. Space station Archimedes! That's a tough word, Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. I'm beginning to get the impression that the dad is a writer. Ooh. Let there be light. Wow, more books. Yep, definitely looking like a writer's office. It sounds like it's raining inside. It's a good thing they've got a lot of lamps because they need them in this house. Fresh. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. 90210. Does anybody still care? Oh, that's harsh. That was a good show in its day. Yeah, I can stay on the floor. Grab Dad's second book. The Accidental Pariah. 
Ooh, sounds like a spy novel. A message from our future. Save the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. I like this guy. Can I read this book? Zero four five one. Oh. Enough with the lightning, please! Ha! Huh. 0451. Okay, we have a number. Zero. Four. Five. One. Yes! Dear Mr. Massan, please find enclosed your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. What important matter? Will and testament. Aha! I, Oscar Mason, possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. The following shall hold true upon my passing. Uh, I'm not married, have no children, I have no debts, I declare all my possessions, I bequeath them, da, 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 to my nephew, Terence L. Greenbrier. Ah, so this must be the mad uncle in the events that said, da, 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 should predecease me, such events shall fall, and same bequeath to his children. Oh, cool, so I get the house if anything happens. Wow, he's got really shoddy handwriting. At least from my perspective. If you could read that, really, snaps to you. Grab a bunch of coupons. Coupons? Oh, what have we got? Save 25 cents for tortilla chips. I could go for some tortilla chips. So not only do they not come pick me up from the airport, not only do they lock me out of my own home, not only do they eat all the pizza, but they don't even leave a light on for me. Seriously, I've had to turn on all these lights myself. Aha, let's have a jacket. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, her name is Janice. Thank you for having Danny over to your new home. Oh, Danny came over. Did he bring the Nintendo? He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape. And I gave him my permission. That's a good mother. A mother who endorses Street Fighter? Snaps. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. I resend my snaps. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. Sincerely, Mary When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. How so, so moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. A bar! Now we're talking! <laughs> and shots! Right, what have we got? Soda. Orange juice. Aha, okay, what's this? Ham, han, man, han. Irish whiskey! Right. I want to pour a shot. Hello? I want to pour a shot. Come on. Mate, this bottle is not responding to my wishes. Oh dear, looks like Mr. Greenbrier has not been writing very well. We 
We are finding a lot of these books around the house, and now we know why. Mate, how am I supposed to pour anyone a drink? Visca! I want some Visca. Can I, can I use... The action button is not working for me. Reproductive system worksheet. The menstrual cycle and testicles. The life of a sperm cell. That's better. Okay, so let's see what Samantha has to say about the menstrual cycle. The early morning of September 1st, 1939. Essa Glatz stares out the window of the train as it travels from Vienna back to her home village of somewhere in Poland. As the train rumbles along and the sun rises over the countryside, she can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. Issa's train approaches its destination. Her heart races. The lining of the uterus is getting thick and soft. As Issa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. It travels through the fallopian tube. She's got away with words, our Sam. She's, uh, I have to say, her... Um, She's very on board with, <laughs> with her descriptions. <laughs> Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Issa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bomb, reaches out toward her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Issa and, for a time, Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind. His legs are missing, bandaged with torn bedsheets. Issa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. Middle of a war. Bombs dropping from the sky. And her egg is dissolving. Sam, get some perspective. About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Issa has given up her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. Issa vows to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries and the process begins again. It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> Teachers comment, see me, thick, bold, red pen. Oh, Samantha, I can only imagine. I can only imagine that parent-teacher conference meeting. What a story! I want to read more. <laughs> it's a shame there's none left. Thank you for watching IG Critic. If you enjoyed viewing it as much as we did making it, then please remember to give a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. For more on video games, feel free to check out our other content here on YouTube and over on IGCritic.com.